Hi, Miles. I just wanted to see how you're doing with the news about Lee. Look, if you didn't want to work there anymore, May and I would understand. I did want to quit when I heard. Then I remember what my dad used to say. A hero's just a guy who doesn't give up. That's true. Assuming he's doing the right thing. I got you that job. I'd hate for you to keep doing it if you think it's wrong. Oh, the people here. Nothing Martin Lee did is their fault. They need help and I'm helping them. I think Dad would want me to stay. I think he'd be proud. I know he would. And Miles, I'm proud of you too. Anytime you want to talk, just call. Thanks, Pete. Gotta go. May just gave me a list of all the supplies to get. All right, later. All units be advised, break in reported in progress. Peter. Y you okay? <sighs> I'm getting by. I don't know how I feel about you running this place all by yourself. These people need help. If I lose a few hours of sleep, so be it. So have you heard from Mr. Lee since? No. But the Martin I know couldn't have done that. Whatever's become of him, that's not the one I want to remember. So, how are things with MJ? Oh, it's, uh... Well, you know, she's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's complicated. Honesty. That's what got me and Ben through the rough patches. You guys had rough patches? Oh, sure. Especially when we were your age. So, are you honest with her? Does she know the real you? Hey, turn it up. I want to hear this. A spokesperson for the police has confirmed that this was the truck carrying the device used in the Grand Central Terminal attack. Oh, it never ends. Peter? We'll be right back.